everybody, and welcome back to DaPod, uh, the Dalian synchronized podcast. Coronas. Oh yeah, <laughs> synchronized Coronas. Yes. This week all... we can drink because it's uh, National Day holiday. So it is. Happy National Day holiday. Happy National yeah. Day. Yay. Camera one. And uh, yeah, what's more, uh, what's more national and Chinese than drinking Corona at a coffee shop? Exactly. <laughs> I should say which coffee shop as well, because it's a pretty nice place. It is. This is uh, Echo Coffee Shop Book. Yeah we, yeah, we mentioned it last week. Yeah, we mentioned it last week. Uh, but coffee, now we're here. Coffee Book Bar, I think, is something like it. They got a lot of books yeah, here. I'm not sure what the official name is, but it is it is a pretty cool place. A nice little, one of one of the few cultural hubs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not yeah, like a sure. sterile little coffee shop, is it? It's quite cozy and it is, it's, just, mean, it's not forced. Yeah, they got like stucco and crazy stuff drawn on the wall <laughs> back there and... Uh, <laughs> the basis of any other yes. culture. Stucco <laughs> and crazy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> But, uh, uh, they serve a nice pizza as well. Yeah, apparently the they pizza do. here is really good. Um, you've talked about the hamburger here being pretty decent before. It, it's okay. It depends on who makes it. <laughs> but, right. You know they've done it well and it, but they. Done uh, it not I so just well. I just had a nice big mm, mug of coffee and it was uh, yeah it was like good real normal coffee. It should be mentioned the fact that we're not the only people filming here today either. No, there's some Chinese guys downstairs filming. So yeah, they yeah. seem to be like a news program. I, I guess they're doing some publicity for the for the cafe. This is a fairly new place. Only opened up a few months, yeah. and not not too many people know about it now. You know, as I said, we did mention it last week, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little spot, and and it's kind of flying under everybody's radar right now. I think. Yeah, largely. Yeah. Which is fine with me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's yeah. not. Come check it out. <laughs> it's, it's cool for it's sure, smooth. and they have a good mm, library of like English books. Um, if you happen to like be stuck for reading material, um, you can come and you know check out. Or if you're leaving Dalian and you you mm. want to donate your books to some place, this is a good a good place to do that. Mm. I don't know if they have any sort of lending policy, but you can definitely come here and sit in, on one of like nice comfy couches and read until you fall asleep. Darpod sponsored by Echo Coffee. <laughs> yeah, we talked about not, quite a bit. Not really. But not really. Yeah. <laughs> it seems that way. Um, see if they have art pizza. exhibits here and stuff too. Like it's a yeah, it's a cultural hub. Like yeah. yeah, it's not Starbucks, basically. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, um, it's got a bit more to offer, I suppose, uh, in terms of sort of comfort and surroundings. Anyway, something else. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of like English language books, is uh, yeah, there's also the foreign language bookstore over behind Yohao, which I was really impressed with yesterday because when I went home at Christmas time, I looked everywhere for this book by Joshua Ferris called "Then We Came to the End." which was this big hit last year, and it was showing up on all these year-end lists as like one of the best books of the year. And it was completely sold out all over uh, St. John's, which is my hometown. And so randomly yesterday, I walk in there looking for some O'Reilly's books on computer stuff. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just happened to find this like paperback copy of it for 60 Guai, and I went home and like read it, and I was really, really, really excited, because that's, not something that you come across here a whole lot is like recent highly praised fiction yeah mm. um you can usually find a whole lot of classics well, and a whole lot of agatha christie and stuff it's really difficult to find english books i mean you'll, you'll find true. you'll find a ton of stuff but you'll find like you know dickens and, mm. and you know like frankenstein and classics <laughs> well yeah, yeah and and you don't really you don't really find anything that's very new or, or very interesting mm. that, that you haven't seen before mm. uh, the foreign language bookstore um they first came to my attention when I, I was I was try, trying to track down some Murakami, uh, Japanese writer that I really mm -hmm. uh, I just fucking love him. He's awesome, um, and and I found a ton of his books down there. And after that, I'd been constantly going back. Now, since then, they've moved across the street to where yeah. they are now, and we'll we'll put some yeah. directions on on the video as well later. Uh, to the foreign language bookstore, but yeah, we. If you we, know a Xinhua bookstore, you should be able to find it. It's yeah, it's right pretty much right next to it. Mm. It's in the situation that an, another bookstore used to be, it's slightly less successful, obviously, because they got taken over. Yeah. If you want to find like um, foreign books, there's a bit of a weirdo place at uh, Li Gong Dashui, okay. at Li Gong University. It's only open between between ten and twelve on a Saturday or Sunday morning, and not on the holidays. <laughs> And it's just outside, it's um, in one of these departments of uh, Li Gong University, um, just behind the Chairman Mao statue, a uh, big brass Chairman Mao statue. And they have a whole bunch of foreign books, like textbooks, but also novels and just weirdo stuff. 
that um, can be quite interesting. I found like sort of sci-fi periodicals there and little sort of collections and That's also right. how to how to operate Java. You know, um, right next to each other. You know, they got that's, a lot of stuff. That's cool, considering that's like I've, I've never really played around out in that area too mm. much. It's I quite out of the way because it's yeah, like I don't know. I don't you got to know there. it. We should, work we should out explain. Lee Gong is uh, Dowling University of Technology. Yeah, for for the Chinese impaired, I guess. But uh, yeah, it's mm. it's just out in the software park direction, and then you can check it out out there if you ever want. End of the twenty three bus. Yep, will take you there. Mm -hmm. um, it's not too difficult to find. Uh, getting on campus is quite easy. Also very good for playing ping pong. They've got a whole bunch of ping pong and badminton stuff set up there, which That's is quite cool. cheap, and a swimming pool uh, for those of you who are in Dalian. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so well worth the, the Kwai bus fare to get out there, although it is a bit of a trek. <laughs> you know, it's worth it if you uh, have any of those things of interest. I, I can't hack that 23 bus. Anytime I head out in that oh. direction, it's, it's tacked. Tacked. Yeah. Yeah, see, I just I hop on the, not the light rail, but the tram goes up there and they've got nice oh, trams yeah. the, running, the the running there now okay, yeah. yeah it's still got a bit of a walk I know not much to walk you can stop off yeah 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 because yeah. I used to when I was teaching out at Dell I would just get the light or not the light rail the tram light rail is something different uh, but the tram just went out there and it was really like the, the new ones are like air conditioned and fast and cool mm. and yeah. really actually mm. comfortable travel experience so I just I take those all the way out there whenever I have to go so yeah, give it a go if you're in that area on a Saturday or Sunday morning.